Hey, what's up Tube, Wellington here, and today we are taking a close look at the LG X-Boom RK7. Um, I've had it for about two months or something like that, and this is everything you need to know about it. Okay, so in the box you'll find a power cord, a remote and its batteries, an antenna, the paperwork stuff, and lastly the speaker itself. And looking at the speaker, it reminds me a lot of the smaller portable guys, most especially the PK5 and the PK7. Um, I feel like the main difference is just the size and maybe this control panel right here. If you place the speaker vertical, it will play in mono, but if you place it vertical like it is right here it will play in stereo mode but if you want to place it vertical but also have it still play in stereo you can just press the play pause button on top there and it will go back to stereo the speaker has its handles up here for easy lifting and just above that is the control panel right here and on here is where you will find your power button the dual and multi-link buttons for connecting more speakers to it, um, your volume rockers, the function button for selecting the input source, the media control buttons, the auto DJ button which will basically play this next song before the current one is complete just so there's no silence in between songs. And sound effects is for choosing which sound preset you want to listen to. User EQ is kind of self-explanatory and just below that is the light button for turning off the lights or changing to different light effects that you prefer to see right at the front there. But that's not all the speaker can do. Remember, we also have a remote that came with it. And as you can see, there's quite a few functions on here, but I'm going to just point out a few things that I actually found interesting or I actually enjoyed using. First is the karaoke function. Now the speaker has a mic input so it can be used as a PA system, but it can also be used as a karaoke machine, which is something I'm starting to love about LG as I explore their speakers. But maybe the best part of the karaoke function is the ability to remove vocals out of any song and turn it into a karaoke soundtrack that you can sing over. This only works when you're playing over Bluetooth or USB, but it's really cool. What it does is it suppresses the vocal frequencies of the song, leaving behind instruments and some backup vocals. Now, just because of the way it works, it also it's also better in some songs and not as good in other songs, but overall, I do like the feature and I've used it more than once with some of my friends. Also, the key changer here is pretty cool. Um, if the song you're trying to sing to has a higher key for you or low key for you, you can either make it higher or lower. So there's no excuse for not singing to any song you really want. They also included built-in sound enhancing voice filters which are also pretty fun to play with. The only downside here is that it doesn't come with a microphone which would have been a nice touch so everybody would enjoy it but there is no reason to not have karaoke parties at your house. The other feature I've been using quite a bit is the LG Sound Sync. And what that is, is if you have an LG TV, you can connect them wirelessly. Um, so the sound that's coming out of the TV will play from here, but there is no lag between the video and the speaker like most um, Bluetooth speakers are. And that's pretty amazing. But the best part is the remote of the TV can increase the volume and decrease the volume of this speaker, but also when you turn off the TV, the speaker turns off, and when you turn the TV back on, the speaker also turns back on. So that's uh, some pretty amazing synchronization right there. And yeah, I've been using that quite a bit. I've actually used the speaker for, um, the past month I've been using it connected to my TV, so, 
that's pretty amazing and i don't remember if i already mentioned it but the speaker does not 100 percent depend on just bluetooth and um, back here if you have a usb stick you can play music off of your usb stick and um, they have an optical in back here which is mostly found on tv so it has that input back there and it also has an aux in back here and an aux out in case you have a different speaker that you want to you know get from here tap from here to another speaker they also have back, that back here um, but also if all of that fails you can connect the antenna and jam to your favorite radio station and speaking of jamming how does it sound like well how about i give you a sound sample and for those of you who are new here I will be using a high quality binaural microphone to record this. So for the best experience, please use headphones. With that said, let's hear the speaker speak. Right, there you have it. Okay, so as you might have noticed, I dropped in the XP60 every now and then, and that's just so you guys have something that you are kind of familiar with to compare the sound of the X-Boom RK7 II. So, and I know it's not as big as this, but it's the only thing that I had with me right now that is comparable in size to this guy here and also while it was playing it was plugged in so it was on its maximum power output anyways the rk7 is generally a nice sounding speaker it's got a nice amount of bass some good mids um, but the highs are the only area where i found them to be a little bit teeny not like not quite rich enough for me um, i mean if you compare it their highs to that of the xp60 this is still way better um but they're not quite in that sweet spot for me they still lack a little bit but since they give you the option of the user eq right here i would go into that and go to the treble and dial that up a little bit and that should give you an even better sounding X-Boom RK7. The speaker also does get pretty loud. With it playing at maximum volume with my dB meter about four feet away from it, um, I was able to get 110.5 decibels and compare that to 105.3 that I got with the xp60 in the same spot also playing at maximum volume so it does get quite a bit loud and i don't think anybody who is going to be using this in a normal room in a house is gonna want it to go all the way to maximum volume i 
I mean, I guess people could, but it get it gets pretty loud. Okay, so while I do love the speaker, there's only one thing that I kind of found inconvenient. From the way the speaker was designed and the way it looks, I feel like it should be a portable speaker with all the other manufacturers like um, JBL and Sony making even bigger speakers that are um, actually battery powered. I feel like LG needs to give us something of some sort. Now this is a high power speaker so it does sound good and it's probably because it's getting power right out of the wall and it doesn't have to compensate for battery and you know last how long it will last and all that and that I that's good that's good but I feel like and I really hope that LG is working on something that is in this category like something bigger but battery powered because I feel like Everybody nowadays is going, <laughs> you know, battery powered because people like to go outside and party. Um, but yeah, I do love the speaker. I do like all the features that they offer in this thing. I couldn't cover all of them because this video is kind of getting long. And also, actually, I did not talk about lighting, but LG is doing a very, very interesting and good job with lights. Um, way better than Sony, I can easily say that. Their lights, when you're playing music, they actually come to the beat. Like you don't, like with Sony, I usually turn off their lights just because the beat drops, but it's like not synced right. With these guys, I can leave it on and it's actually on the beat. Like that doing something really good with the lighting, like as far as, you know, dropping by the beat, it's really, really good. I really do appreciate that about them. And that's basically on all their speakers, even the smaller guys, the PK5, the PK7, and the other bigger speakers that I have from them. They do really good with lights. I just wanted to mention that. So this is an easy, easy speaker to recommend to someone who is looking for a party speaker. Um, it kind of sucks that you can't take it outside, but if you're partying inside, which most people do, um, it's a good speaker. You can pick up two of them, link them up if you want a bigger sound. Anyways, the video is getting a little bit too long. I want to say thank you to LG for sending out this review unit. And I want to say thank you to you who is watching this for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Um, if you liked the video, leave it a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. I just want to get some sort of feedback from you because you watched the video. If you're new here, subscribe. Why not? Um, I'll leave the links to the speaker down there if you want to know more details about it. I'll leave the link down there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.